Hell yeah. Okay. This area has a lot of tough enemies. And here's one of them right now. The Nova Skeleton. Or Beam Skeleton in this game. They were called the Nova Skeletons in uh, Symphony of the Night. Don't know what they're weak to, actually. I'd like to check the enemy listing. They're a bit farther in. Where are you? Mudman. Beam Skeleton. They're weak to Holy. Hold a thunk it. So I think for this purpose, Legion Soul might be better. Here's a Killer Mantle. It has a very interesting soul. And whenever you attack, if you're not gonna land it, it just zoops away from you. I always forget where this area is on the map. Oh my god, we got Beam Skeleton. This soul is very nice. Fires a deadly beam. Here's a deadly beam. It walks with you. Obviously, we might have better choices, including just using the goddamn claim, but it's pretty nice. <laughs> Finally, I can kill dead crusaders without much problem. I would like the killer mantle soul, because that's one I'd really like to show off. Besides, it's pretty much mandatory to get a way to kill an enemy later in the game. Here's a pallet swap I was talking about for the poor, poor uh, Kegnazo. But before we actually check him out and talk about what we want to talk, to talk about with him, let's just go buy some potions. I feel like that's a smart idea. Also, see what Mina has to say. Hello. Hey. That woman back there, is she okay? I don't know, she's been wounded pretty badly. The medicine I have won't help much, hope she'll be alright. Yeah, me too. Know why I say that? Cause she's my type. Shut the fuck up! Well I got business to run. What do you like? The usual, my friend. Drugs! Alright. If we go ahead and sell the Joe you say we have... We can see that it does actually sell for way too much money. More expensive than the Claim Soleil. I might go ahead and sell this, to be honest. It's not very useful. There we go. And how much does a gold drink sell for? Wonder. <laughs> way less. <laughs> okay. The reason you'd ever want to do that is to make some of the money required to buy the last item in his shop, the Soul Eater Rink. It increases the appearance rate of spirits, basically soul drops from enemies, but it works different than how it is, like, marketed. It doesn't just give you 5 luck up, because luck is a broken stat in this game, it just straight up increases the drop rates. wonder if Yoko will be alright. Do you know Yoko? Yes, she's been coming to my house since I was very young. Because I am an only child, she's been like a big sister to me. I see, did Eric Otto bring her here? Yeah, he did. And I'm sure she's okay, he said not to worry about her. He was confident he could save her, that's why he brought her here. If you say that, she'll be fine, I believe you. I know this is tough for you, but hang in there. Okay, leave it to me. Alright, back on track, I guess. Give me your soul, damn it. Alright. So back into the arena. Which I always, as I said, I always forget where this is in the map, because usually I don't play this fire every time I replay this. That thing over there is the pallet swap, and we didn't actually get to see his name. Wait, no, that's the other pallet swap. Never mind. Skull Million ain't so bad. <laughs> he basically doesn't have the weird tri trident uh, fucking what's-his-face was using, Kignazo. Which means he can't curse you, I think. Though I think he can do poison. I'm not sure. Screw you, Skullmedeon. Ugh, Gladiator. What an annoying enemy. Time to switch back to Nightmare, I think. I feel like I want to go up first, but there might be a save room to the left, so I'm gonna go see if there is one. Because of how much I've died in this area, it's kind of fresh on my memory. Not in this, like, playthrough of recording sessions, no. Here's a wear tiger. He's like a were jaguar, but a tiger. Fuck you, Killer Mantle. Yes, there you go. Ability to swap HP and MP of enemies. Don't really know how to explain this, but the way this works is it's a regular attack. Pretty good attack too. Showed off on a regular enemy. 
but it works better on essentially strength-based opponents. It reduces the amount of... It, it swaps the HP and MP, so things like, for example, uh, Wooden Golem. They have very little MP, so using this uh, Killer Mantle on them will just insta-kill them. Let me see if I can show that off on something. We can't get up there just yet. Can't fucking land the thing on this guy, though. Alright. Yeah. It did 101 damage. This means he has 101 magic. <laughs> it's a bit weird. I don't think it actually exerts its effect on every enemy. But that's a soul we definitely needed. You'll see its usefulness later. Uh, fuck you, skill my own. No soul from you yet. Uh, yeah, let's go up. That's good, bro. <laughs> Double kill. Awesome. Arena's structured a bit weird, if I'm being honest. Ooh, Red Minotaur. Hello. This is a very powerful enemy. But if you get him, and get his soul, I think it's straight up the strongest, like, attacking soul in the game, with a single hit. Which is obviously something quite nice that we want. I don't know if he's weak to anything, but this is a perfect enemy to show off what I was talking about. So, it took me five hits of the claim to kill this guy. One hit of the killer mantle kills him outright. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't know the criteria for what works and what doesn't with it, but we're not complaining. We can just ice this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, he's back on track, I guess. Fucking jump kicks for travel speed. We got the Leviathan, and there's nothing else in this room. Leviathan. Enchanted Sword of Fire. Kinda like the hunting, I think it's actually a power swap of the animation. But it does fire damage instead of poison. It's quite nice, but again, we have the claim. There's no real going up from there. It's all going downhill. Get out of here. What an asshole. I guess if you need something that does fire damage... Actually, you know what? That's exactly what the use of the Leviathan is. As good as the uh, claim is, Allura Un and uh, Dryad are still weaker to Leviathan, I believe, because of how weaknesses work. You just get a huge chunk of damage added to your damage total. Which is nice. Get out of here. Over here, we just have a potion, apparently. A high potion. Eh. We'll take those. Especially since I don't think we can buy those just yet. If ever. I'm not actually sure if you get to buy them. Finally! Con constitution is increased by 16. Almost said concentration. That's just a defense buff. You know what? I'll throw that on. Sure. Uh, Death Crusader. That's the greatest defense buff in the game. Off of a single thing, of course. It's not the best way to protect yourself, though. We don't have that just yet. I can't believe I just died. Well, uh, considering I saved, I'm gonna have to redo what I just did and then just, like, load the game. <laughs> See you in a minute. Alright, that one was my bad. I kinda forgot that I'm still playing on hard mode and I literally didn't even look at my health bar. Oh well. Nothing too great was lost. I couldn't get the Dead Crusader soul again, but that's fine. I'll get that some other time. Something imperative or anything like that. Anyways, moving on. Fuck you, Beam Skeleton. Uh, I, could, I would really appreciate if you died right now. Where Tiger? I swear to God. Nope. Get out of here. Yeah, can't dodge a fucking nightmare, can you? To escape this room. Okay, heal me up real quick. Let's go. Kill this thing. Uh. Okay, so the arena is actually structured a bit weird. There's these three floors of just combat rooms. Well, there's a fucking palace swap I was talking about. His name is Lubicant. One letter off from Lubricant, which is weird. Fuck off, Lubicant. 
He's dead. Anyways, there's three floors of combat rooms with a reward at the end. There's no real point to them other than getting the reward, and I'll be doing one of these before I actually run out of time to record today. So, let's see what we get at the end of this. Ow. Ass. This is a bit of a reward. It's a wrecking ball. I'm actually gonna switch my weapon for a bit. I think I wanna use the... Uh, what's it called? Where are ya? Taiza Knuckle! You gotta make this thing swing. There you go. Ha! Fucking assholes. Uh, sure. Draw it back up. Aurok suit. It's a drop in defense, but an increase in everything else. I don't think I actually want to bother with this just yet. It's an armored suit once worn by Aurochs. For those who don't know, Aurochs was a boss in Symphony of the Night. I believe an optional boss, too. I never knew you could stand on the Wrecking Ball. Fucking uh, statue of the, I guess, Atlas? Slapping me? That's not cool of you. Fuck you, Atlas, you're an ass. What is Lubicant actually weak to? It's taking a bit, a few more hits than I would like. Lubicant. Weakness to sword. Oh well. And bat. I don't know what bat is. For sure. So, the translation error is a bit weird. It's supposed to be a ruby cant, but since it's a Japanese game, it came across as an L for some reason. Eh. Oh, by, by the way, this is an elevator. If you head down, it goes down. But we're not taking those paths just yet. We're gonna go wrap things up now. Oh, this recording better not be fucked, because I saved twice. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed this short batch of episodes. If you liked the videos, leave a like. If you didn't, Leave a dislike. I don't fucking care. Okay, it, it, actually, yeah, just leave a dislike. I don't care. <laughs> See you around next time.